Let's see what's about myself. Don't see my hair like I done messed up my little slay, honey. Get all right. All right, look. Get all right. Look. Get all right. Look. Get all right. Look. Get all right. Get all right. How y'all feel around? How you doing? You know, I'm not gonna try it because somebody gonna talk about it. Somebody is going to talk about me. <sighs> anyway, hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. What's the day today? I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. Hmm. I got hot. Let me turn down my music real quick. Let me turn down my turn up because I might just get taken. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys six easy steps that really changed my life so much, guys. Like, a, you talking about a weight loss transformation? Like, what? That's you? Like, unrecognizable at times. Like, for real. Like, I got asked so many times. Like, girl. What? Girl, no. Girl, yes. Girl, yes. And I'm here to share all my girl yeses and all my what? What's up? Tell me what I can do because I'm trying to be the plug because plenty of nothing like we're really trying to find out what's the tea and what's what. And then sometimes people trying to hold out. That's not it. So I'm going to show you guys how I lost. Are you guys ready? How I lost 85 pounds in just five months months guys they like unbelievably and yes i know it's like oh my god what did you do did you have a little lap band or something no i was trying to but the insurance wouldn't even pay for 100 to get done so i did my research put that diet together that diet together boom and made life okay so i'm gonna be sharing all these things with you guys so let's go ahead and get right into it get right into it get right into it Alright guys, so I'm going to be sharing with you guys these six steps that I used like consecutively for five months and sometimes I fell off. Granted, yes, it was true. With the stress of being an educator, it was really like sometimes I just need a quick brownie. But I got back right on my high horse and I got my life. So if I probably would have stuck with it, I probably would have lost a little bit more. But at this point, it was 85 pounds in five months. I started in January and noticed the 85 on that scale subtracted from the other way in May. And I was like, bruh, uh, cause so. So, the first step that I used, or the first diet that I kind of took from what I've seen and heard by my research, was trying this apple cider vinegar. And I'm like, oh my god, how can I drink it? Because I'm not gonna take it like shots because it's nasty. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I did more research on YouTube with other people that I've seen that tried this diet as well, and they incorporated it in the tea. And I was like, oh, that, that doesn't sound too bad. You know, my mother, she's always a huge tea drinker, you know, especially doing a little cleanse and everything. My mother was always big on that growing up. So now, the way that I do it is, of course, my cute little mug, y'all. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Girl from Dollar Tree, cause who? But anyways, um, I get this in my little mug, honey. I fill it up to right about here because it's usually in the morning before I'm getting ready to work. Before, as I'm getting ready for work. Right? So I'm like beating my face, I'm getting my little babies up, you know, from them to get ready for their day, packing my little lunch, you know, my making my little cute little smoothie or something so I can sip and go as I'm doing it. So I don't fill it up because, honey, the rest will be left in the fridge there. I know I said fridge there. Okay. Anyways, it will be left in there if he she don't finish her cup. So that's where I usually finish it. It's not too much, not too heavy. Um, put my water at that point first. Like right about here so that's a good size amount of water um and then i add my apple cider vinegar and it must be the one with the mother okay um the bragg's apple cider vinegar i know sometimes you may have the kind of generic kinds or something this has been really hot falling off the shelves lately like this is a this is going to my third bottle already guys and it was so hard to find like I went everywhere and this was like the last bottle on the shelf at Publix so this is again the opposite of vinegar I use <clears throat> the next thing that I put inside of my tea, inside to prepare my tea is going to be my tea bags and I use the peppermint flavor um and this is by Celestial Seasonings Herbal Caffeine 
free tea. Um, it doesn't have to specifically be this brand. This is the brand that I just have been preferring to use. Um, I have tried other teas, but the peppermint gives me life, especially in the morning with the fresh minty mouth that I go for after the good brushing of the teeth and a good cleansing and flossing, honey. This peppermint gives me life with the mouth, honey. So, boom. This is one I use. Um, then I also use my, I do one tablespoon of honey. Um, organic honey is preferable, but if you can't, if those coins aren't cute enough and you know, the kind that they offer that's not organic is cheaper, honey, go for the cheaper brand. Never, never shady with that honey. Always here to save coins. So if that's the better one to purchase, use that one. I also slice me some lemon in there. Um, I prefer fresh lemon. Um, you can use fresh lemon squeeze. Um, but that is the, that is my choice. I, so I squeeze a little bit of that in there. Heat her up for a good minute or two. Give her a good stir. Give her a good stir in the mug. And like I said, I consume that in the morning. That is step one. That I, um, the second thing that I do that saved my life and that I even saw that someone just did this by itself without even working out or changing anything, they ate. They drunk one of these or 90 ounces of water a day. That's where I started and then I wanted to upsize it when I found that, you know, I wasn't losing weight as much as I wanted to at that point. I went ahead and I stepped it up a bit and I got my 100 ounces a day of this and it is cheapest at uh, Walmart um, for like a dollar um, and Target has it for about a dollar too, if I'm not mistaken, about 117 at most. But I buy about five of these to prepare for my work week and I'm moving like rambunctiously so this helps with the thirst because I'll be thirsty and it's hot and it's Florida weather so I'm I'm already almost to this point but this is what I do one of these as well a day and yes I'm running to the bathroom like a toddler you will run to the restroom like a toddler it's okay but what it does is a good flushing and it's it's super I find it to be very good for cleansing you and helping you know that water weight fall off and everything like that so that is something that I um, drink daily um, step three that I use why am I doing this with my fingers my numbers are off my fingers y'all don't make fun of me but step three that I do is I count my calories and I'm not good with math and all that so thank God for smartphones because I use uh, my fitness pal app um, and I will Give you a visual right here in Fitness Pal app. Um, and it allows you to personalize it to your body type, your weight size that you start at, your weight goal that you're going for. Um, and it'll give you your expected amount of calories that you can consume daily. So when I first started, I wanted to lose a drastic amount. It gave me 1,500. Took a little break after May with the summer and everything and the fluster of education system and everything, stressfulness of that. Um, I started back up, got back on it, and after I changed my goal to like 20 pounds, 15 pounds, then my calorie amount went up that it allowed me to um, consume. But I still stick to, to about 1,500 or less anyway because, you know, still trying to be snatched, okay? Uh. Anyway, so the, <clears throat> I want to say the fourth thing I did is I wanted to make sure also that I cut out my fast foods. I cut out my fried foods. I cut out my sodas and my sweets until I got to a point where I was comfortable enough to allow myself to be conscious and conscientious of what I consume. So if I had a little brownie, you know, that I was expected to want to have after lunch or something or after dinner, I didn't have anything else earlier. Or if I consumed, you know, a little um, french fry or something, you know, because I was hungry, I'm on my route, moving and moving, then I didn't have anything else. And even sometimes I got to a point where I allowed myself to even have a little treat or something on the weekend because you want to allow yourself to, to, to enjoy a meal or two here and there so that you don't binge and then you're like, oh my gosh. I've gained it all back. So you don't want to do that. You know what I mean? You want to make it so it's comfortable for you and it's more of a lifestyle change and not like a diet. You know what I mean? So that's what I did also. And I avoided carbs. Like when I got to a point where I wasn't, I didn't see the scale moving anymore as much as I wanted it to. I took another step and I avoided carbs. So I didn't have carbs at all. I like protein, veggies, proteins, veggies. And if I did have carbs, I only had it one time in a meal just one time in the meal allowed. Um, so I would like have my egg and my sausage. Um, I would have my chicken and my salad for lunch. And then 
Um, I would have like fruits or something, veggies for snack, and then I would like allow myself a little cup of rice or something for dinner or whatever, or a little roll or whatever for the side, whatever I chose, but just one starch a day is what I allow myself. Uh, my next step that I took, exercise was so important and at my job I do a lot a lot a lot of walking so it kind of helped too with my cardio and everything and you know with my fitness pal the way it sets up it also counts your steps as well so it counts as a, as an exercise so I um, also made sure that I work out two to three times a week um, and like I said the more I got to more being more comfortable and allow myself a little bit more leeway with my lifestyle change I reduced it down to twice a week because I also live on the sixth, on the third floor of my apartment and it's like six flights of stairs. So compared to walking all the time at work and these stairs, I definitely got my cardio in and my exercising in anyway. But I made sure that I dedicated two times, if not three out of the week to work out. Um, the next step that I took, um, Guys, surprisingly enough, and this is for you, if you know, sometimes they have the diet places that you can go to where you have um, the certain places that's dedicated to just um, diets. Um, and I went to way where I went through my physician to do this. Um, and I've tried it before, but I've never had it work so well. And it might have worked so well because I added all these other diets to it as well. I'm not sure. But I went to my, my physician and um, she prescribed me um, the diet pills um, that you know you've heard Black China refer to or something. Um, I was prescribed those and I can never say the name right so I'm not gonna say it. The name is gonna be right here for you guys. Um, but that is what my doctor prescribed me. It gave me a three month period to take it. Um, and it also gives you a good thirst too. It gives you huge cotton mouth so it also helps with consuming all that water that I told you guys about. I know it's on my face. But yes, it helps with that because you're going to want to almost drink two of those by the time you get done with those pills. But anyway, so those help me so, 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 so much. Um, it gives you a boost of energy. Um, get them and go at them too. You know, it even sometimes gave me a little happier attitude at times, okay? It cuts your appetite tremendously. Like, I was like, dang, did I even eat today? Like, sometimes I had to remind myself to eat because I was either so busy, drunk all this dog on water, and my appetite was cut so much. So, I could eat a neutral grain bar in the morning and be good until dinner. Like, the appeals are the bomb. Dot com. So if you can get those, even if you don't have like, you know, a physician that you go to, there's sometimes those locations that will see you just to prescribe those type of pills and help you with diet like that. Or yeah, like that. Um, the next thing I made sure that I also did was through the week, I meal prep because you know sometimes if you're hungry you're like you know what I'm so hungry I know I said I was gonna eat good I don't have the food right now I'm gonna go for this burger because it's quicker I ain't got much time I gotta keep it moving my coins ain't straight no cut all of that out cut all that out and meal prep is key meal prep is key it helped me so much because it made me stay consistent I didn't I don't believe in wasting food so it forced me to eat what I what I packed for myself um I did that on my Sunday right before I get ready for my work week I don't know how yours may be but I did it for the entire week I um had my breakfast set aside my snacks set aside and my lunch set aside and then I had already mentally prepared for what I may have for dinner um so the way I would meal prep, the morning I would give myself a boiled egg um, and I would allow myself to have a sausage or I would choose to have a Nutri-Grain bar and I would have an orange. Um, then for lunch, I would have a pro, uh, protein meal. Um, I would have either like some fish, um, either tilapia or salmon with like some spinach or some kale or cabbage or green beans, um, carrots. And then I would either have or chicken salad. Um, that would be my choice for lunch. And then for dinner, I would have baked chicken, green beans, because I'm here for green beans. It's like one of my favorites of broccoli. Um, and like rice, white rice, um, or give myself a little flavor, some yellow rice, honey, because, you know, hats off to people that can do brown rice. I'm not there yet. Not there yet. I mean, the flavor is just all for me. But if you like it, go for it. It definitely is going to work better. I wish I would be sure for that um, because that's something that people often re recommend anyway is to go brown. It's healthier. 
For me, I like the white. My bread, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> don't give me no wheat bread. Uh -uh. Good old white bread, good old butter bread, good old sweet Hawaiian roll. I'm sorry. That was my choice. Okay? But anyways, don't do that if that doesn't work for you. Okay? But get to a point anyways to where you allow yourself to have a little leeway. Okay? Don't be so structured and then it's hard for you to keep up with. Make it so it works for you. Okay? Um, if you have any more questions, I hope I answered everything, guys. I'm not a, a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. Please consult with your doctor um, about your health and everything first. And make sure these things work for you. But everything that I've given you was what worked for me and which led for me to make this huge weight loss transformation into a new, like, butterfly. Butterfly. Uh, uh, uh. I'm so goofy, y'all. Uh, and who? Cause who? Cause who? I will. Nobody. Anyways, guys, I thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope all this information was good for you guys. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. I thank you for your time. And I will answer any of your questions, comments, or concerns you have. Please leave them down below. Please check me out. Follow me on my other social media sites as well. I will see you guys soon. I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys soon. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you soon.